welcome to my mobility base workout. Let's start with a nice roll down. So come to the back of your mat, soften through your knees, placing equal weight through the feet, through the toes, onto the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest and imagine you're peeling your spine down the wall. Go all the way down. As you get to the bottom, just hang your arms on your head. Feel like you're really grounded through the feet. The weight is towards the center of the feet. Hold it here, breathe in. Breathe out, pressing through the feet. Roll it all the way back up. Roll the shoulders back. And again, roll it down. Don't lock through the knees. Good, hold, inhale. Exhale, press it up, peeling that spine back up the wall. Roll the shoulders back. Let's go last one, roll it down. Good, hold it here. Take your fingertips to the floor, bend your knees if you need to do so. And now just gently press the legs straight. So bend and press, nice and slow. And press, good. Keeping that forehead towards the knees. Good, two more. Last one. Good, bend the knees now, walk it out. Take it down onto all fours. We're going to start with a nice cat cow here. So curling up through the spine, arching up through that back. Inhale, drop the belly forward, look forward. Make sure your hands are kind of underneath your shoulders, not too far in front of you. Drop that belly forward. Nice, let's just flow through it. So go arch it up, bend it down. Nice, so keep it going. Arch it up. Good, bend it down. Let's go three more. And yeah, go two. And down, last one. Nice work. Now walk the hand out a little bit further in front. I want you to just sit back onto your heels and from here, peel up through the spine, drop that tummy towards the ground, look up. So we're going into a little back extension here. Now from here, pull that belly button to the spine, go back into that little mini child's pose. So again, we roll through the spine. Nice work. Pull up through the belly, rock it back. Let's go three more. And rock it back. Let's go two. Look up. Last one. Drop it back. This is just supposed to be a nice flow, guys. We're trying to really increase, increase the mobility through all parts of the spine. Bring it back now and the body. Bring the hands directly under the shoulders. Let's go for a thread the needle. So we're gonna go inhale, open, reach the fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, thread it under. Don't let the hips twist. So we're rotating through that upper back. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, under. Last one, go inhale and exhale. Good, reset. Other hand, inhale, open, stretch the fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, reach that arm underneath. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, reach it underneath. Good, last one, inhale. Good, and exhale. Nice work, bringing it back. Tuck the toes under here for me, making sure the knees are in line with the hips. Just lift into that knee hover. Press the hips to the ceiling now, keeping the legs bent. Just try and stretch out through that upper back and then we hover back down. So we go press, good, and hover. And down. Really drawing that belly and try and press like you're pressing your chest towards your knees. Dropping the head in between the arms. Last two. Good, last one. Nice work, walk the hand out a little bit more. Now let's press the chest down, keep it there. Now we're gonna walk out through our downward dog. So we're gonna press one heel down and then the other, nice and slow. If your heel does not touch the floor, don't panic. Just work within your own range. Stretching here through the back of the legs, so the calves and the hamstrings, all the way into that lower back. Let's go four, three, Good, two, last one, press both heels down. Now really try and lift the hips to the ceiling. Good, feel that nice stretch, feel that energy. Nice work, take the knees back down for me. All right, let's come into now 
a kneeling lunge. So come into your kneeling lunge. I want you to take your hands either side of your front knee, making sure you've got that nice right angle at the front knee. Take the knee now, a little bit out to the side, just to give yourself a little bit of space and room to move. Take your right hand behind your head, and I want you to feel like you're trying to take your forearm to the floor, and then you're gonna open and rotate. So we're just kind of moving on from that little thread the needle we started with, trying to get that upper right back rotation, combining it with a nice lunge stretch. Let's go three more. And three, nice work. Go two, last one, and open, nice work. Pull that knee back in line with the hip now, coming up into a high kneeling position. Take your left arm to the ceiling, tucking that pelvis under, getting that nice stretch to the front of that left hip flexor, and a little bend across that front knee. Good, hold it here. Nice work, take it to the floor, hands go either side of that front knee, pull it back, try and straighten through that front leg, keep the foot grounded to start, so go pull it back, we're flowing through it. Okay, this is not necessarily a stretch, more of a mobility movement. Last one. Good. Now we're going to lift the toes to the ceiling as we do it. Good. Bring it forward. Pull it back. Reach the toes. Two more. Good. Last one. Nice work. Walk that foot now across to the other side of the mat. Drop that knee down into our pigeon pose here. Take your hands out in front of you. I want you to just bend down. I feel like you're lengthening out through the crown of the head. Push up with the arms. So we go down. Press. Nice work. So we're feeling that nice stretch through that right hip. Go down and press. Go as low as feels comfortable for your own body. Let's go three more. Good. Go two. Last one. Nice work. Take that leg out, stretch it behind you, press that calf to the floor. So we're trying to press that heel down. Nice work. Bring it back. Let's go other leg. So the left leg goes forward. We walk it out a little bit. Left hand is supporting on the ground. Sorry, right hand. Left hand behind your head. We go inhale, open. Exhale, reach forward. Good. Really try and focus on using your breath. Don't hold in this stretch. We're moving through the movement. Two more. Good, last one. And open, nice work. Walk that foot back in. Come into your high kneeling. Tuck under with that pelvis. Right arm reaches to the ceiling. Just go across and back. And back, keep tucking that tailbone under. Like you're lifting your pubic bone to the ceiling. Good, last one. Nice work. Take the hands to the floor, foot plants down, and we rock back, straighten that front leg into your lunge. Nice work. Take it wider if you need. So if you need to take that foot more forward, you can. Last one. Good. Now we're going to add in the lifting of the toes to the ceiling. Changes the stretch. If you like you're spreading your toes. Three, let's go two more. Two, last one. Nice work. Walk that foot now across the other side of the mat. Take your knee to the floor. Take your hands out in front of you. And it's like we're doing a little tricep press. So we go down and press. Nice work. Try and keep the back as straight as you can. Don't drop your head. Good. Three more. Go three. I love this move. Go two, good, last one, nice work, take that leg out, stretch that foot back, press through that calf, nice work. Alright, coming into a side kneeling now for me, I want you to take your left leg out to the side, right hip is forward, try and get a nice straight line with your body, hands go out in front into our GD pose, and we're going to hinge back through that right hip, press it up. And again, hinge back, go as low as you can. If you can sit back down onto that heel, sit down onto that heel, depending on that knee. 
Pop something supportive if you need a pad or a cushion under that right knee. Good, let's go three. Go two. Good, last one. Nice work, hold it here. Take your left arm up and over. Have a nice stretch across to the side. Nice work. Take the knees apart now. Take your hands out in front of you. We're gonna do a little froggy rock. So we go forward and back. Trying to take your knees as wide as you can. Let's go forward. I know this looks funny. Three, two, really good for hips though. Last one, nice work, reset. Right leg goes out, come high. Arms go out in front. We hinge back, press that hip right forward. Go down and press. And press, three more. And three, nice work. Go two, last one, and press, nice work. Coming seated on the ground for now. Bring one leg out in front, the other leg behind. So you've got two 90 degrees with your legs. We're gonna hold here, and I want you to try and flow by rolling over, sit nice and tall. So we're trying to keep upright, and we're twisting through the hips. And reach. Nice work. If you want to add in a little stretch here, lean forward, you can. So go across, lean forward. Good, go across. If that's too much for you, just flow as we are. Let's go three more. Good, go two. Really good for hip mobility. Last one. Nice work. Bringing it back around now, making sure you've got some support under that front knee. Come back into that 1990 sit. Take your hands back out into that GD pose. Now you're gonna press with that front leg, that glute on that front leg, and come up into a hip press. So from this position, try and control the lower, don't just collapse down. So really make the hips and the glutes work here, lower down, and again, press up. Good, slowly lower. Let's go three more after this. Go three, slowly down. Go two, really good for strengthening the stabilizers here for the hips. Last one, and your core. Good, let's switch the legs. So take the other leg forward. Make sure you've got support on that front leg for the mat. Let's go press it up. And you might find one side feels tighter or more stronger than the other. It's normal to have those imbalances but the more mobility work we do, the less we'll have those imbalances. Let's go two more, and the more control you'll have through your range of movement. Last one. Ah, nice work, guys. All right, let's take it to finish into a nice child's pose. Take your knees wide, sit down onto your heels, reach out with your hands, and I want you to walk your left hand to the left side of your mat. Take your right hand on top of it and try and pull out through the right side of the body here. So really keep your hips grounded onto your heels and just press through that right shoulder. Good, bring it back and press. Bring it back to the middle and press. Two more. Last one. Nice work, walk it over. Right hand to the right side of the mat. Left hand goes on top. We press through that left shoulder and back and press and back. Let's go three, go two, last one. Good, bring it back to the middle, relax down now onto the floor. Relax your arms onto the floor, turn your head to the side. It's a little bit more comfortable. And just hold here and breathe. Nice work guys, well I certainly feel a lot better, I really hope you enjoy those mobility movements, you can literally do them every day if you want to, really good for sport as a warm up before you exercise or play sport, thanks guys.